Hello. Hi. <laughs> How's it going, Tanya? Good. How are you? Good. So good to see your beautiful face. <laughs> so why don't you give us a little introduction about yourself and your business, where you're located? Give us the 411. Okay, so I'm Sonia Latour. I run Sonia Latour Art. So basically, I'm an artist and yeah. <laughs> um, and um, I'm located in Vernon, New Jersey. I sell basically abstract art. So I do paintings, I do coasters, like functional art magnets, um, trinket dishes, um, drawings, like all that kind of stuff. Yeah, they're so beautiful. I love them all so much. Thank you. <laughs> um, so tell us a bit about how you got started doing this. Um, if you have another hustle up, this is your main deal. Um, so I've always kind of loved art, but I didn't actually pursue it right out of high school. Um, I actually went to school for musical theater originally. Um, and then like, I used to be like four years ago now. Um, I, I met my husband and um, he is was a traveling musician in a band. So I was like trying to like support him more and kind of like put what I was doing on the back burner. And um, so I was like, had a lot of spare time and I decided to start painting again, which I hadn't done really since high school. And um, I was just like, you know what, I, I like this. I want to keep doing this. So then I kept doing it and like, two years ago um, when we moved into our house and um, I actually had like a space that I could create things and not have a giant mess everywhere. <laughs> um, I decided to start selling stuff um, and yeah, now I'm here. <laughs> That's the best. And you primarily sell online and in um, like markets and stuff, right? Do you have mm -hmm. any in retail shops or? Um, I did, but it didn't really go that great. So I decided to take it out because they were taking like a percentage and like a fee. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. do it myself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's the struggle. Mm -hmm. That's the life you live. Um, what is your favorite part about owning your own business or about your own process that you make and that you do? Um, I just really like being able to set my own hours, set, like do work when I actually feel creative, when I actually want to work, when I'm, yeah. you know, cause like, it's so hard as an artist to feel like you have to work at a specific time. You have to be creating like yeah. now I, I can't work like that. And so yeah. it's just great to be able to, when I feel like painting, when I feel like drawing, I draw. And I love that I can like work on stuff while like I'm watching tea with my husband. Like, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Right? I know. It's a dream life. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, what is some advice you'd give to people wanting to start their own business, do more things creatively, or start a crystal, or do shows, any of those things that you're proficient at? What are some tips? <laughs> um, mainly, like, just do it. Like, if you want to do it, be confident and just go for it. Because, like, if you just sit around and you're like, oh, well, I kind of want to do it. Maybe I could do it. You're never going to do it. So even if something seems like difficult or you don't quite know what you're doing, like just jump in and try. Like the first show I did, I literally had no idea. I signed up for it like a week before and yeah. um, like I had absolutely no idea. And I only sold one painting there, but I sold something and I was, it was awesome. And that made me want to do more. And yeah. so- and then you learn as you go. Like, you don't have to know everything right away. You can right. learn and get better as you go. Right, exactly. And that show was where I met you, right? Was that the same? Yeah. One? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I've said this before in other interviews, but like, if you're doing vendor shows, the vending part and the, the selling the part, <laughs> selling part is like, not usually the main thing of it. It's not really right. the main, <laughs> like, of course you go into it thinking that it's going to be, but quickly you'll get knocked off your high horse of thinking you're going to make and sell and all this stuff when you don't and you maybe sell one piece or you don't sell anything mm -hmm. but there are so many other cool connections that can come of it right yeah that like is the fun it's part about, yeah it's about the meeting people and interacting and especially as an artist like most of the time people don't see you or your yeah. personality they just see like the art but right. 
a lot of times people will meet you and like interact with you and connect with you. And then they're like, oh, I'm going to look at their stuff. I'm going to buy something from them. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Even like, you know, you get practice setting your booth up. Like that's like mm-hmm. the bare minimum that I will take away from a show. It's like, did I get a good setup today? Did I yeah, get Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Then that's a win. <laughs> yeah. It took me like all summer last year to actually figure out how I'm going to set my booth up and get it like how I like it. Yeah, exactly. And then it depends on like outside versus inside, mm-hmm. like yep. <laughs> a 10 by 10 space or just a table. Yeah. There's like yep. so many variables. I know. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But I think like, um, yeah, just to encourage people to, yeah, just try it and, and look at other people's accounts. Like if you have happen to have a picture or if you don't, but like you like someone's work, I feel like right. if people ask, Hey, can I see a picture of your setup? Like that feels more personal and like a connection being grown than like going on Pinterest and looking up like right. craft shows, yeah. you know, like looking at other people's stuff as much as you can is like really helpful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I learned way more from that than on Pinterest. Like Pinterest gave me nothing. <laughs> Bruh, seriously. I know. I literally would like scour. I maybe got like one idea from a Pinterest posts, but like most of them were from people. And, and I always tell people too, like, I love this setup. I'm going to try to replicate mm-hmm. this in a future show. Is that cool? And they're like, yeah, I made it with this. And I'm like, great. <laughs> it's like exciting to just share, you know, knowledge and ideas with people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's so fun. So since COVID and since the current world that we're living in, how has doing what you do pivoted or how are you trying to pivot what you're doing? Um... Well, I mean, I've definitely not been selling as much because I was, well, you know, like all the craft shows and stuff obviously are not happening, but you're doing these and it's awesome and super helpful. (laughs) (laughs) Yay. Yeah. um, And I've been trying to like, I was always really focused on my Instagram account because I feel like it's such a great way to showcase art since it's visual. Um, But I've been trying to like, even more, do research, read blog posts, like all that kind of stuff, learn how to maximize um, my Instagram account to try and get people to like see my stuff and hopefully buy it. (laughs) Yeah, because it's free, right? That's the thing that I always tell people. It's like, utilize what you have that's free. (laughs) Like literally it just takes your time to, yeah, learn how to best post things or to find the best time to post things or learn the best lighting to do it. It's like, yeah, that's all right there. And you are an amazing, uh, what's, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You kill it at Instagram. You're like, oh, <laughs> posting, and it's great because I think Thank like, you. that's what we have to do. Like you have to, it, like there, the idea of like being annoying to someone by the amount of times you post isn't relevant when you own a business on. Right. Like, exactly. You have to. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you stop posting, especially on Instagram, like people are like, oh, Okay. And then they yeah, go and, and find something else to their out. algorithm. Right. You won't be relevant anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's terrifying, but it's the truth of it. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, you, you just drop out of the ecosphere of it all. But yeah, um, yeah, I think that you, you do a great job with it and people can learn a lot from like, you know, I think the way that you've been selling your stuff through your stories is really cool and like being consistent and posting. I'm sure it's exhausting to keep posting yeah. things and if they don't sell, like it's frustrating, but um, I think that people are now getting used to buying things in a fast pace like that. So, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Especially since everything happened. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it being just like up in their face all the time, they're just going to be more likely to, to do something about it. So it's cool. Right. That's my thought with the stories is if I can show pieces every day, maybe, you know, someone who's just kind of casually looking will be like, oh, I really like that one, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, and how hopefully. many times, like, do you save a post and like, don't go back and look at it. And then the sales, exactly. are, like I've done that a million times. Right? Yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna save this for later and buy it. But then I never do. And it's sold out or the sales are way over. And it's like, okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's really helpful. Um, can you show us some of your pieces right now? I know you're in your little space right now. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, I gotta flip this. And remind me if you said, are you doing, do you want to do a studio tour, an official video of that? Um, yeah, sure. I could do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we can, well, you can do that another time too, but we can just see some of your pieces now because they're so um, 
this is one I'm working on right now that's not finished. Oh, but I love that. Fine. Um, I've been trying to find some like new different styles. This one's not finished either, but cool. It looks one. like a geode. Yeah, that's what it's inspired by. Oh, and then I've got my this is my pile of I'm working on stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cool oh my gosh and then I've got a mess out here this is all my finished stuff you are my canvas queen <laughs> and this is my pile of needs to be varnished <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> I was out of varnish for the longest time oh, no. um, so I just got some so yeah. awesome oh it's um, so funny that you have so much space that's awesome yeah, yeah I'm so lucky um, yeah that's one of my I favorite ones that I've done recently. Because they're so pretty. I know, so do I. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll where I have the one that I bought from you. Oh, yeah. Let me turn my light on. Oh, wait, where did I put it? Oh, I took it down. <laughs> I had it like <laughs> I had it on a nail in my hallway, but now I, I've been using that spot to take pictures of other work. <laughs> Got it. So I have it. I just haven't I understand. Had a forever home yet. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I need to find a permanent place to keep her. I'm gonna put her just on my easel for now. You can stay there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're all so beautiful. So Thank how can you. people best support you now what are some like oh i was gonna ask you this first don't answer that question <laughs> um, you were working at like a paint and sip studio weren't you or like a ceramic paint place yeah i was um i don't know if i still am anymore because they i don't know if they're still if they're gonna be able to open up again after so everything. They, didn't, they didn't put you on like unemployment or anything you couldn't collect that um well i am oh I okay. <laughs> yeah i don't know if like Gotcha. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I applied for it. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> um, and I'm also, well, I was, hopefully it still happens again when um, everything happens again, because I was having a lot of fun with it. I was working um, with, uh, what's it called? The Newton Performing Arts Center. Um, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, at, in the Newton Theater, I was teaching art classes and teaching voice lessons and oh, cool. choreographing their shows and stuff. So oh, that was... Gosh really fun um and i loved my boss there she was like the nicest person in the entire world um so i'm yeah. really hoping that they don't like go under or something yeah. after this and they open back up again because i loved it oh my gosh yeah Ugh. crazy it's just so crazy <laughs> everything's mm -hmm. like so wild right now but i love looking at your processes and your beautiful art and and even your struggles <laughs> your stamps on the day carving that I was so mad at myself because I literally, I was like, oh, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to do this to make my packaging really cute and like personal. And I was carving and I finished carving. I was editing the video and I finished editing the video and I look at it and I'm like. So mm -hmm. it, you didn't even get to the stamping it part to notice it. You just. Mm -hmm. like, no, I just stared at it and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny because there's another, um, there's a printmaker that I follow. I forget exactly which one it was, but like she had just posted a video of the same thing, of a time lapse of her carving this thing. And I said, I hate to be the bearer of that, <laughs> but you know that that's backwards, right? And she was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> was like, no. so I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm glad I, I'm glad someone else told me because if I had just like not noticed, that yeah. would <laughs> It's hard when it's like, because when it's a picture, it's not that bad. Right. If it's it backwards. doesn't matter that much, but when it's words, when it's, it kind of matters. Yes. I had been doing um, some iron on things with my Cricut and mm -hmm. I could not get it through my skull to mirror the image on the iron on material i must have wasted like a foot at least of material oh because God. i just like kept screwing it up and i would like go through the weeding i would like take all the extra stuff off and everything and be about to like flip it over to iron and it's backwards and i'm like oh my gosh oh, my oh God. no <laughs> so i took a break from that project <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm gonna make a note, <laughs> a big like orange post-it note that says, did you mirror the picture? <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> just part of the process, you know, we gotta just, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, it's the worst. But <laughs> <laughs> So anyways, um, so how can people support you right now or what's some exciting things that you're working on that you love and are trying to sell or give us those details? Um, well, right now, if you're not able to buy anything from me, um, just sharing my work or sharing my website or my um, Etsy shop or my um, my Instagram, whatever, like just sharing is very, very helpful because it gets yes. my stuff in, t in front of new eyes, which yep. is important. Exactly. Yeah. Like, follow, share. <laughs> like, <Yep. laughs> <laughs> subscribe the whole YouTube spiel that everyone always gives but it's true yep. because it's like the it's truly the least you can do yeah that's helpful yeah and um I think that people yeah people just paying attention that way means a lot and um I know that yeah the more followers you get the more chances people have at seeing your work and the more sales yep. you might get it's all it's all a weird game but I mean it's this is what marketing has always been it, now right, it's just exactly and like handheld so it's a little bit more intense I feel like yeah <laughs> yeah oh, that's super cool well thank you so much oh and you have a, an item in the ba the silent basket auction yes um, I do yeah. um it's a, a little a little marker and ink drawing that I did yeah, a while ago that cool. hasn't sold yet but I really like it so <laughs> yeah and I think that's a, a great way to just like get your work out there so people mm -hmm. can go check that out in the link um, for the virtual basket auction and get in that. So thank you so much, Sonia. So good thank to see you. Thank you. You too. Yeah. All right, friend. We'll talk soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.